Do you have the letter that you're yeah. mom wrote? Well, we've never met. You're the dearest friend I will ever have. It's OK. Take Your courage and unselfish love has brought more love and joy than you can ever imagine. You, dear birth mom, are in our prayers every day. Thank you so very, very much for our son. Wow. That is an amazing letter for one mom to write to another mom. Mm -hmm. Do you have any details about your birth mother? Like, did your adoptive parents have any information that they kind of shared with you? From the birth certificate that I saw, uh, her name is Lori Charlene Pedersen. She was 17 years old when she had me. From my understanding, she was on drugs at the time. I, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but that's what the adoption agency told my parents. Hey, how old are you now? 32. 32. And when did you first decide you wanted to find your birth mother? Since I was 16. I was really hesitant because my adoptive parents, I don't want to hurt their feelings. Mm -hmm. My adoptive parents are two great people. I really couldn't do any better with them. My dad was very hard on me, but made me the man who I am. And my mom always supported me in everything I tried and everything I did. And, uh, when I was in the Army, I talked to him about wanting to find him, but I kind of put on the back burner. Now with my kid around, and I just, I need to know. <laughs> So you served in the Army? Mm hmm What uh, branch, what division? Army National Guard. Joined in 2000, and I got out in 2005. I got hit by a drunk driver, and then my military career pretty fast. I, I'm fortunate I survived. I, I, sh I shouldn't be here. And when I found out he was 19 years old, it, it shook me to the core. So the 19-year-old that was drunk hit you? Well, he came into my lane head on. I worked on him until the ambulance got there. And, He died in my arms. That was probably the hardest thing I had to deal with, but. So is there a connection between your car accident and your decision to search for your birth mother? If I've learned anything, life is pretty short, and I can't afford to wait. I would like just at least be able to thank her for what she did for me.